Hi guys and welcome back to Sean's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to do the granny rectangle blanket. Very simple to do. We're going to be using a double crochet stitch, a chain stitch and a slip stitch. Very, very basic. So if you are new to crocheting, these are easy stitches for you to be able to do. I do have a tutorial on how to do the double crochet, which is going to be a lot slower than obviously this tutorial. Um, however, I will do the first couple of stitches slow just to show what I'm doing. Um, and then we will go forward from there. So today I'm going to be using a 5.5 uh, a crochet hook. And I'm just using some Aran yarn. Um, you can use any hook size or any any. Uh, yarn you would like for this blanket it works in any uh any size so let's get going so with this one you would need to do multiples of three in your chain so as long as it goes into multiples of three you are fine so basically what we're going to do to start off with i'm going to chain i mean you can make this this chain as long as you like I'm going to just do a chain of 18 quickly because it's just to show you how to do the rectangle and then you can just make it as long as you like. So here we go, I'm going to chain 18. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So, like I say, you can make this as long as you like. Normally, twenty-four is quite a good centre size. Um, but obviously, just because I'm showing you a quick tutorial on how to get the actual shape of your rectangle, um. I'm just going to do me 18. So what you're going to do is you're going to count back six from your hook. So that's six chains, not counting the one on here because that doesn't count as a stitch. So here we go. Six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to do three double crochets into this stitch here. Okay. So if you're familiar with the double crochet, it is literally yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. So we've got two in there already. And that makes our third. Okay, so what we're going to do next is you're going to miss the next two stitches. So one and two, and we're going to crochet three, double crochet three into here. So yarn over, oopsie daisy, there we go. Oh no, sorry about that. Just need to do a yarny over first. There we go. Some people edit their videos, unfortunately. I can't edit mine. Once I'm running, I'm running. There we go, that's number two. And three. Like that. Again, we're gonna miss the next two. So one and two. Going to do three double crochet into here. One, two, three. Okay, and then we are going to miss next two, one and two, into this next one here, three double crochet again. Two and three. So then missing next two, one, two, and into here for three double crochet. One, two. and three okay so basically that's it as it looks so far okay so we've got like a little loop here 
and then you've got your line of three double crochets next what we're going to do is we're going to chain five one two three four and five then you are going to slip stitch into the same hole that we just did this these three double crochet in there so into the hole pull up a loop you do not yarn over you're just going to slip stitch that through okay then what we will do is we are going to just chain two one two okay so what happens now you are not going to crochet into this hole that you can see this this chain two will be part of our last corner so we're going to now go into the next space so if you turn your work upside down because we're now going to be going along the other way you will see you've got these the chain to the uh, sorry the, the two that we missed we're going to be working into those so we're going to do a, a three double crochet into there and actually as you go along here you can tuck the towel this bit here that was hanging out just to make it all tidy as you go along that's two and then this one here is three so now we're going to go into the next chain the next two spaces that we missed so um, that's two and that's three and then again so that's our next that was our upper chain three and then we uh, three double crochet we're going to go into here one two and three like that and then into the last one a three double crochet two and three okay so that's where we are at then right at the start we missed a we done we went backwards for a chain six didn't we and then we started our first three double crochet so what we're going to do into here we're going to make our first two corners for our rectangle so we are going to do a three double crochet chaining of two three double crochet chaining of two three double crochet no chain after that okay so here we go so you're going to do the first three double crochet into this big loop. So that's one, two, three, chain two, one, two. Now we're going to three double crochet into that same loop. One, two. And that's three so now we're going to chain two one two still going into that exactly the same loop we're going to now do a third so this will be our third lot of three double crochet so that's one two and three so if i just set my work down hopefully you can see that we have gone up we've made our corner and we've made another corner and now we can come back down our next straight okay where we will ne next make the next corners which is going to be here okay so let's keep going with our three double crochets so now what happens is you've got when you went along the first time obviously it just makes its own little spaces between the three sets so you're just going to crochet straight into that space. Okay, so here we go. So that's one, two, and three. And then into the next set there. And that's one, two. 
three and then into the next set one two three and into the next one one two and three okay so this is what we're looking like at the moment it's starting to look like our rectangle so now you have got this next loop just like we had down here so we are going to do in this one just a tiny little bit different we're going to do a three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two and then a two double crochet because then we're going to slip stitch it into our chain two that we started off with here okay so here we go we're going to do our first three double crochet into that loop one two Ooh. so what have i got there i've got my three so now we're going to do a chain two one two and then into again the same loop with a three double crochet one two three and then a chain two and then this side here we're just going to do a two double crochet one and two and then we are going to now just slip stitch into the top of that chain there and then that brings it all all together okay so that's our next two corners that we've made so what we're going to do now to start our next round we are going to chain two because that is going to act as our first double crochet and we're going to just literally so if you pull where you've done the, the chain two underneath if you just pull it apart it will make a hole so a space so we're going to do two more double crochets into that space so there we go one and two so what that makes now is that makes your three double crochet there so now we're going to go just pull your work apart and then you'll be able to see your holes so one two three four four going across here without the one we've just done would make five okay so we're going to do our three lots of double crochet into the space two and three and into the next one And that's a three and into the next bit. And three there. Last one on this line. One, two, and three. Okay, now going into the corner here, it's into this hole here, we are going to do our three double crochet, our chain two and our three double crochet all into this section because we're going to make another corner. Okay, so here we go. One, two and three. And then a chain two. And then a three double crochet still into that same side because this is going to make our corner at the top. Okay, so there we go. That's made our corner. 
and now we're going to go and do the same thing because obviously this is our next corner to come down to the next side so again it's a three double crochet chain two three double crochet let's do that over here And a three, one, two, and three. Okay, so there we have it. So that's our two corners that we've made. But when we come round for our next round, we will do a three double crochet in here. So you'll do a corner, three double crochet, and then your corner. And that's where, it, obviously, it starts to get bigger. Okay, so coming right along the end here now, again, doing it in all your spaces, three double crochet, here we go. Two, three, and next space. I do get my hooks off of Amazon. I do find them very easy to crochet with because they do have this uh, like a, a rubber bit and they are they're really nice they come in all sizes you get them in the set um, but I do find them rather easy to to crochet with and they weren't expensive either so that's our three and then into the next hole here one two and and with this blanket as well you can get all funky and jazzy as you like by using all different colours um, I'm not doing a colour change today because I'm literally just showing you how to do a the, re the rectangle shape itself and then I will do another tutorial obviously on colour changing so now we're around to our corner over here so again it's a three double crochet and as you mostly know now, obviously it's a chain two and then a three double crochet. I think I've said it enough. But normally when you're following a, somebody's YouTube video, oh, what did they say? So, and then our, our um, three double crochet again. I've done my chain two. And that one. And... So here we go, we go across now to the other corner. So, and a three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I will put the description of the pattern uh, underneath so that you can write it out. Um, or you can a comment in there and I can and with your email address and I can email you the actual pattern that's not a problem um so that's basically so there we go that's our next corner made so what you're going to do next is you're just going to slip stitch this space here together so we're just going to slip stitch there so what happens is now you you can't go into this space here because basically you've moved forward so what i do i slip stitch until i get into this space here so we've slip stitched this one so then if you go in between there and slip stitch again and then go into the space which we would which we're going to do our three double crochet and slip stitch again what i've done I've not created any height. I've literally just moved along. So it's a very, very good way if you're ever in a pattern and it says you need to get to the next space over there without cutting your yarn and rejoining. It's very, very useful just to do a couple of slip stitches um, to get into your next, the next space where you want to be. So then what we will do is we'll do a chain two. And then we're going to do two more double crochet into here because that first chain two acts as our first double crochet. Okay. And then 
and there you have it so what you're going to keep doing now you're going to keep going round and round and round and round until you get it to as big as you would like i do hope that you have found this tutorial helpful today and um, please do subscribe and like to my channel um leaving me any comments that you would like to underneath um i do try and answer all questions um and yeah enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy crocheting speak to you soon bye